Greetings awesome Shelby County Schools family. By now, you have likely heard that we are contemplating additional instruction time in the 2021 calendar as a first step toward addressing the learning loss caused by the pandemic. Adding days to next school year should not be seen as a punishment or an attempt to make up all of the learning loss in one year. The bottom line is that our students need more time for learning and extending the school year is one great way to start. On Wednesday night, we shared these considerations with more than 100 teachers in our District Teacher Advisory Council, that's DTAC. Teachers asked thoughtful questions and shared solution-based feedback about compensation for extended year, incentivizing professional development requirements, and how the calendar might affect assessments and state testing. To be clear, we have not made any decisions about the school calendar yet and continue to seek input. As we plan for the new year and address student learning loss, we look forward to getting more feedback. I am so thankful to have heard from so many people inside and outside our district who want to give our students more learning opportunities in the coming year. Our students deserve our very best efforts and we cannot let them down at this crucial time. Now here's Jericho Phillips with this week's updates. The district's re-entry task force held its third meeting, covering a range of important re-entry considerations, including measures to comply with the CDC's social distancing directives, proactive baseline testing and targeting testing for at-risk communities, ensuring that all schools have adequate nursing and mental health professionals to support students and staff, and the need to continually provide ways for families to be informed and engaged throughout the re-entry planning process. During next week's meeting, task force members will have a work session to begin drafting their official recommendations for the safe reopening of schools this fall. You can find a full recap of all re-entry task force meetings by clicking the safe link at scsk12.org forward slash coronavirus facts. As long as the CDC's social distancing recommendations are in place, it will be necessary to operate differently when campuses reopen. However, with that in mind, the input of our families on how we reimagine education is critical to this process because our plans must be responsive to the needs of the students and parents we serve. We're asking all SCS families to take our school re-entry survey to share opinions on important factors related to the reopening of schools, such as preferences for in-person and virtual learning, health and safety decisions, transportation, student programs, childcare, and more. It's confidential and only takes about 10 minutes. You can take the survey online at scsk12.org forward slash re-entry survey. We'll also be hosting a series of community listening sessions later this month to hear directly from our families. Meetings will be held on June 22nd at Douglas High School, June 24th at American Way Middle, and June 25th at Ridgeway Middle. We will be following social distancing guidelines, so in-person attendance will be limited. However, families and community members will have the opportunity to participate in the meetings virtually. More details will be coming next week. As we continue to explore all instructional options for the coming 2020-21 school year, we want to ensure families are equipped to support their students at home using the district's preferred distance learning platform. Microsoft Teams is a safe, free, and easy to use virtual system that allows classes and groups to meet and work together online. With the likelihood of implementing a combination of in-person and virtual instruction in the fall, this parent training will ensure our students are set up for successful learning. Online training sessions start Monday, June 15th. Go to SCSK12.org to sign up now. Our athletics task force has been hard at work preparing for a safe return to play this summer. Beginning with our high schools, the group has established guiding principles as well as proposed protocols for each sport, all aligned to CDC recommendations and based on direction from state and national athletic officials. Each high school is now finalizing plans for summer practices and conditioning in preparation to resume activities soon after the state required dead period of June 22nd through July 6th. Of course, 
All plans to resume athletics will prioritize the health and safety of our student athletes and coaches. You can find more information by clicking the athletics link at scsk12.org forward slash coronavirus facts. Online applications for our virtual summer learning academy are open June 19th. There are 5,000 free spaces available for students in grades K through 5 to participate in the online enrichment program, which takes place July 6th through the 31st. Laptops and hotspots will be available for families who do not have a home device while supplies last. And all students who complete the academy will receive a free backpack and school supplies for the upcoming 2020-21 school year. Spaces are limited, so apply soon. Go to scsk12.org forward slash summer learning for more information. Get a head start on the new school year by completing online registration and required returning student updates. For new SES students entering grades K through 12, just send an email to ichoose at scsk12.org to get started. If you're a returning student, it only takes a few minutes to update required student information in PowerSchool. For students who will turn three or four by August 15th, just go to sesk12.org forward slash pre-K to apply online and for pre-K and Head Start classes. And don't forget, all students have to be up to date on their immunizations to attend school. Get complete details about registration at sesk12.org forward slash registration. Thanks, Jerrica. As always, it's important to hear authentic teacher, student, and parent voices. We look forward to bringing a thoughtful calendar recommendation soon. But rest assured, our reentry task force is meeting weekly as we consider what class in August will look like, whether it's in person, virtual, or a combination of both. Please continue to read to your children and have them read to you this summer. Remember, we are stronger together. Coronavirus will not defeat us. We are 901.